Hello, my beautiful people. This is Val with uh, this is how you do it, and I will be making some cornbread and. I'm showing you how I make my cornbread. This is about two and a half cups of meal. Put that in there. And we're going to get some flour that I transferred to a, another container, but it's just flour, self rising flour. We put about a half a cup, I say about a cup, no, a half a cup. I usually cook by sight, but I'm trying to show y'all some measurements. But so that's about a half a cup, two um, tablespoons, right out your cabinet spoon. One, two, in there. Then you get a little oil. You put about, let's say, this oil. I'll say about three tablespoons oil and water that's it now because this was empty I put some water in here and shook it up my mayonnaise jar but I usually just use water but because there's mayonnaise already in here that's what it is but you use water pour it in there and mix it up until your desired thickness Oh yeah, don't, don't let me forget, there's also sugar in here. It's one of the most important parts, don't forget to get you a scoop of sugar. And I almost forgot. Like that. This scoop is about one-fourth of a cup. Put that behind you. Try not to knock you off the kilter too much. And stir it up. That is an important part. Your cornbread would not be sweet like Jiffy Mix, but it will have something about it that people be wondering. This cornbread is real, real good. What, what is it? And the reason I use the mayonnaise, because the mayonnaise is nothing but whipped eggs, but because of the smoothness of the, whip, the whipped eggs, it, makes, it gives the, the cornbread a better texture, better taste. Your liquid is just water. I don't want you to get confused about a, by it being white. I was just cleaning out that jar. That's where your cornbread look. And when you cook cornbread, that's about the thickness that you want on it. In case it may be a little too heavy. I'm going to throw another dash of water in it. That's just water. Let's see. Let's move it around now again one more time. You don't need a mixer. You don't need none of that. You put it in your pan. Grease your pan. Some people will put flour in it, but with this particular pan, all I need to do is put some oil in it. And the oil I use is canola oil. That's a vegetable oil. No particular brand. Doesn't really matter. Self rising meal, self rising flour. Place it in the oven. About 350 to 375 for about 30 to 45 minutes. Okay, now we're going we took the cornbread out of the oven and we're gonna butter the surface. Just take the butter and go around the surface of it. And as it go down in the cracks and crevices. The butter will melt and go down into the top of the cornbread. That's all it's doing. Just right on the surface. And you do that while the bread is hot. 
you do not cut your cornbread just yet. You got to let it sit for a little while. Because if you cut it now, it'll crumble all the pieces. And this is how I make my mayo cornbread. And the only reason I call it mayo cornbread is because I don't use eggs. And this is, you're cooking with Val, and Val does cook. And this is how you do it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, so you can see more of this in the future. Bye-bye now.